All right, so we're just going to follow this gist, which has been written very well by Kevin Schmetz. Thank you, Kevin. And essentially afterwards, it's going to look something like this. We'll also add syntax highlighting. So for example, notice how when I type in NOD, I don't have anything with that name, so it's in red. But as soon as I add the E for node, I have node installed, so that's going to work. Um, and then also, for example, when you change directories, notice how it only shows one, so it's a shorter prompt. So first thing you're going to want to do is install iTerm2. And so you're going to want to do this, brew cask install iTerm2. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run through that. After that, you're going to want to install the color settings. So you can right click here, save link as. Notice it's iTerm colors file, so just save that wherever. Um, and then you're going to open up iTerm, go into preferences and appearance, actually profiles. Yeah, here we go. Colors, color presets, and import, and then add that file. So notice I already have it selected, it's already installed. Next thing you're going to want to do is install OhMyZSH or Z Shell, however you prefer to call it. So you can just copy this line here and install it with curl. And then what you're going to want to do is edit the ZSHRC file. I'm going to open it up with nano. Uh, ZSHRC. There we go. You should see something like this after ZSH is installed correctly. And then if you go down, there we go, theme, agnoster. And then to exit, it's control X. Okay, and then if you want the power level 9 look, so that's kind of up here, you've got the timestamp and the check and the red and all of that, uh, you can install that by following these instructions. I'm going to skip those because I'm not using power level 9. Feel free. Next, we're going to want to install the font. So you're going to want to install Meslo. I'll bring it to a raw file. Just download it, install it. Uh, source code pro should be the same thing. Download, install it. You can set this font in iTerm2. Go to your preferences and then profiles, text, change font. So notice I'm using 18 point font, Meslo LG M regular for power line. So restart iTerm for those changes to take effect. And then last, we can add some auto suggestions. I don't have those turned on, but feel free to add them. Um, We'll just do the shorter prompt style and the syntax highlighting. Uh, let's start with the custom prompt styles. So you're going to go back to iTerm. You're going to nano the ZSHRC file. OK, and then towards the bottom. So this is what you're going to want to add. Prompt underscore dir. And then open and close parens. And then your code block. And then that should say only show the parent directory. So you can exit that and then you'll want to save it and then restart iTerm. Next, we're going to install uh, ZSH syntax highlighting. So go ahead and copy that, install it. And then what you're going to want to do is copy this and add it to the end of your ZSH RC file, right? So I've got mine right here. Okay, and then last thing, which I didn't mention in the beginning, but if you want to use this in your VS Code config. You can do that. So just take a look. Um, so basically, if you do terminal, integrated shell OSX, and then bin slash ZSH, um, I also added this in iterm.app to use iterm. And then the font family, so the Mesla one that we're using. And I believe that should be it. And that's it. Now you should have iTerm and DSH installed, along with syntax highlighting and a shorter prompt.